bought two cars and we're going to have two cars for sale. Some quavers have been eaten. and welcome back to another video i don't know what the hell is going on with the weather today i had a jacket on i've just taken it off and i just had to go and get my sunglasses out of the uh, 124 so i can sort of see what i'm actually filming for you guys um if you're new to the channel then welcome this is the main reason i started this youtube channel um because most of my videos are based on our sort of driveway full of cars we have a large collection of vehicles here at home and some in storage and at the moment i can tell you have a grand total of 19 vehicles that we own as a household, as a family, I don't know why I'm hugging myself. Yes, most of our cars are sort of classic retro cars, um, cars and pieces that we mainly have at home and the majority of the ones that we own are in pieces or are sort of, and are sort of ongoing project cars. But like I said, I do also do videos on our sort of better cars, which is my Abarth 124 Spider, my parents Abarth Competizione, this retro Fiat Panda VIP, the only one left in the UK, we believe. Um, and yeah, we do have some nice cars on the fleet as well, but most of them are sort of old, a bit tatty and need a bit of work, which is ideal for my dad, who loves projects and loves cars just like me. So if you like that sort of stuff, then why not just take a few seconds to go and click that subscribe button. Um, this video is mainly one of what I like to call one of my driveway updates slash shuffle videos, as we have a couple of cars for sale, and we've also bought literally a couple of cars. We've bought two cars, and we're going to have two cars for sale, so I just want to update you with what's coming and what's going can i just say this has just arrived for the uh, panda that my dad's got on the uh, car spit in the garage and actually the car spit's now up and working the panda's on it so i'll probably show that and show you that in a minute that's quite interesting but i believe that's another door it's probably come from italy somewhere but yeah that's arrived today so car parts and i thought i was gonna have to get rid of the beloved volvo just to make room on a driveway for our other project cars but it seems that now i have a boyfriend that's actually mechanic and into electricals that means my boyfriend will be the ideal man to hopefully sort out the many electrical issues in this volvo and hopefully get this back on the road sometime soon so the pando vip is here not really being used much but it's my dad's little toy and this is where the problems sort of start really that is there and that is under there oops i actually get a bit of a suntan out here today in this nice sun so what happened to the escort my brother's escort well he went on holiday for four days the car was parked up at a mate's garage when it came to him leaving his mate's house to come back home here um it was driving fine but then it started leaking oil from the engine somewhere so obviously some sort of um seal or something's broken um he didn't want to risk it by driving it home and because obviously the car the, was then losing oil and had no oil in the engine so it wouldn't be ideal to drive a car with no oil in the engine so he pulled over me and my dad my boyfriend then went in the range rover towed him back home so he's now bought a replacement for this car because he needed a car i'd run around to obviously get to and from his workplace this has been sat here for about a week the idea is he's just gonna sort out the problem and sell it basically because he doesn't need the car and he has bought a replacement for this his new car is actually quite funny <laughs> um it really is literally just like what he's going to use as like a run around he's got no sort of oh there's people coming past the car he's bought is literally just a cheap run around it's tatty as hell the inside's actually okay it smells a bit but and i'll show you around that later on when he's home and i can show you around his new car i see how long he owns this one <laughs> Right, so my brother's now home and this is his 2005 Ford Mondeo 2.2 litre diesel. The diamond cut or the yellow wheels are knackered all the way around. It's dirty, paint coming off there, scratches all along the side. Another knackered wheel, but it is a pretty good spec, all joking apart. It has got rear parking sensors, it is in this new, in this nicer titanium dark grey colour and it is a titanium do we think it's been to the Nurburg track probably not but yeah it's in a nice dark grey colour actually 
that is probably the only one wheel out of four that's actually nearly good condition. Uh, electric folding mirrors, which is pretty good. There's also like the little lights underneath and it should still be open. Okay, so the driver's door isn't unlocking. This passenger door isn't that great anyway. You have to, you have to snap. Ah. So inside we have half leather heated and cooled seats. Their dog's going to start barking, so let's close the door. Let me show you the inside. So we have this cup holder thing. That's pretty cool. Six speed manual gearbox. The radio is actually all right in this. Quite Sounds quite good. Steam wheel is upside down, but it does also have things like cruise control. Um, you've got all the settings there for the radio and the steering wheel. It's actually not a bad place to be in when inside the car. Headlining's pretty like standard but it's all clean. Uh, the back here, again it's got nice armrests, some quavers have been eaten. But yeah, it actually doesn't, it's not too bad in here. Little armrest, cigarette lighter. It's actually not too bad when you're in the car. Um, heat seats we don't think actually work. Because it's got a number of different settings for the heated seats but it doesn't seem to do anything but it's a cheap car and it's all right for my brother it does have 132,000 miles um, but apparently the cam belt and stuff was serviced last year but yeah electric w windows obviously um it's all right i guess quite a bargain really it's a diesel so it'd be quite economical for my brother so this is his new daily boot is mahoosive on this thing so wide and goes back so far yeah the poor escort's broken he's going to get some bits to fix and sell that on um now you guys are probably wanting to know what is going on with the bath reveal video it needs a clean on the outside and the inside and i don't want to show you the proper spec of this car until it's nice and clean and it's worth uh putting on video basically but i do have a bit of time off so that means i can then get this looking mint and clean for once because it hasn't had its first wash by me yet and I can then get a good video of me properly reviewing and giving you a show around this car. And here she is, looking quite clean compared to my car, obviously. I mean, I've got rid of my 595 competition only, but my parents say this is a keeper because they absolutely love this car. These two look pretty cool, especially with my car with the red bits on it as well. Just over there is my parents' new car and one that I'm unsure to drive. So I'll show you that maybe in another video because it's pretty cool. But as you'll notice, the Range Rover is now not hitched to the trailer because we finally sold that. And the family tatty car is going. The Toyota Yaris Verso is on for sale. So yeah, we've had her for about a year. She is for sale as we now have the other car, which I haven't shown you guys yet. And it's definitely much more of an upgrade compared to this tatty thing. Um, it has always had engine problems since... We have owned it it sort of has a loss in power it doesn't affect what well, does affect the way it drives to be honest but um it's been an all-round sort of good car for getting dogs into rubbish into you know trips to the uh, dump and stuff but yeah she sort of will be missed but she's nothing compared to the new car my parents have bought we did do actually when we first got this car a little sort of video so click the link above to see what this car actually looks like because it is like a little minivan it is actually quite a cool spacious car and it is quite high it's got, got quite a high roof, which makes getting the uh, stuff into quite easy. Right, so what I might do now, I've shown you what's going on at the front, well mostly what's going on at the front, I'll show you the new car in a bit. Um, I might do it in another video actually, because I can drive this one, I might do like a proper review, because it might interest you, as it is Italian. But now I'm going to do is walk to the back of the driveway, to the garage, and show you the Panda on the car spit. Electric garage door needed. Here is the car on the spit. This is what a panda on its side looks like. Now we were having trouble spinning it on the spit because we still had the engine in. But now, if I try and show you, the engine should be in there and it's now gone, which makes it a whole lot lighter for my dad to then spin and get the access he needs. This used to be black, I might have put a photo in now, or when my brother got it. It's actually my brother's car, probably told you this before. My dad is really good at welding fabrication and this sort of paint bodywork. 
He sanded it down by the looks of things. Um, this bit makes it easier for him to reach the roof and bits like that. Also the underneath. This is the inside of the car. Wow, it looks totally different on its side. I might try and show you the back, so the underneath. Okay, so I've just gone around the other side and here is the underneath. So you can see he has pretty much painted all the underfloor or under the floor here. Um, we've got all the brake bits here that he's painted as well. Um, this car actually isn't in too bad a condition, but um, he's been doing work. You can see there, he's probably doing that bit at the moment, trying to weld and cut bits out there. Um, wow, that's where the engine was. Um, it looks like he's been doing some work here as well. But yeah, it's quite interesting uh, what he does. He's also been doing a bit of welding on that seal as well. But these jig things are really handy, especially when you haven't got the sort of space to put off put a ramp in of course he'd like like a four post ramp but this is the next best thing for a small garage so you can reach the hard to reach places my dad has also built this like um lean to sort of thing as this is his beloved xr 3i escort convertible which he custom painted a few years ago against an ongoing project well it wasn't it was finished at some point but he's now finding bits to do on this as well so yeah and then you have the garage and this bit so I hope you've enjoyed this video from me giving you a driveway update and showing you our large collection of vehicles. If you have, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you think of my brother's uh, new Tati Mondo. And um, yeah, so like I say, uh, the Toyota and the Escort is going. And we welcome the Mondeo and my parents' new car, which I actually will do in another video because I can drive it. And I want to give the car sort of proper review like it deserves. It's actually a pretty cool little Italian car. So what do you think that is as well, guys? Leave a message below in the comments and uh, I'll have a read for your messages as always. And most of all, guys, please subscribe to my channel. I am a home-grown YouTuber. I do all the editing myself. I buy all the stuff myself, cameras, and um, I film everything myself. For you, you guys, it's all 100%. I was going to say man-made, female-made by me, so please support me and uh, help me boost up my subscribers by obviously clicking the subscribe button and I'll see you again, no doubt, in another car video. See you later guys, bye. And it should still be open. No, it's not, let me just unlock it. Why won't it unlock?